Hi, this is John from Funica Pro Classes, and today's tutorial is about how to restore your project. If you want to go back in time a little bit, a few minutes, a few hours, sometimes a few days, and most importantly, what happens when you restore a project? Let's get started. So here I made a really small project. I saved the library to my desktop, and I also saved, told the backups to go to my desktop. So it made a folder called Backups, the same name as my library, and it puts all the backups in that folder. The way you can tell where to back up is if you click the library, it opens up, if your inspector is open here, it opens up the library's properties. And here you can see where your library is backing up here. You can always change that, you know, if you hit modify settings and you can tell it where to back up. So I told it to back up on my desktop and it made that folder. So if you always keep it on your desktop, it will keep making folders with project names on it. So the main thing is when you go file, open library, you're going to go to from backup. It's going to give you a drop down menu here of all your backups, which you can see on my desktop right here. So that's what it's referencing. So I'm going to hit yesterday. I want to go to that and I'm going to say open. So it's asking me where to back it up the new library here. So I want to back it up in the same place. I'm going to say choose. I'm going to say desktop. It sees that I have the same folder there and it's going to go to that folder. So the important thing to remember is that your backups are very small. They don't contain the media. So this is only 730 KB. This one's 719, 790 KB, 677 KB. But when you do a restore, what it does is it puts a new library next to your old library and it starts bringing in the media that's in your old library to your new library. So this is going to 191 gigs. This, li this original library was 192 gigs. Um, so this one now is 191 gigs. So basically, if you have 100 gigabytes in your library and you restore, it's going to make a new library with 100 gigabytes in it, with the same media that you have in the old library. So at some point, you might want to dump the old library into the trash and then rename uh, the new library. So here I can close my my original library because I now have my backup and if I don't have space on my drive I can put this in the trash if everything's working right and here's my backup I can rename this also I can rename it here I can just click here and it's going to rename it in the finder so you can see it renames that in the in the finder there so I can actually get rid of my original project and, and not have all that media taking up drive space so I hope that helps you understand the restore procedure and so like or subscribe and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.